The area of an equilateral triangle is 177 square centimeters. An equilateral triangle has three sides of the same length and three angles of the same measure. Given this information, we want to find the perimeter of the triangle and round to two decimal places as needed. To do this problem, we're not going to use trigonometry. We're going to use the Pythagorean theorem and the area formula for a triangle. So for convenience, we're going to let the length of each side be 2x centimeters. So this will be 2x, this will be 2x, and this will be 2x. What we want to do is set up an equation involving the area of the triangle that only involves x. To do this, we're going to use this right triangle here and express the height of this triangle in terms of x. But before we do this, we need to recognize a couple things. First, if the length of this side is 2x, the height is going to bisect this side, so the length of this side here would be x, and then we'll call this h for height. Again, our goal is to express the height in terms of x, and we'll do this by using the Pythagorean theorem expressed here. So using the Pythagorean theorem, we can write the equation h squared plus x squared must equal 2x squared. So we have h squared plus x squared equals, this would be 4x squared. So h squared is going to be equal to, subtract x squared on both sides, we would have 3x squared. And now we'll take the square root of both sides of the equation, and since h is a length, we're only concerned about the positive square root. So h is going to be equal to, the square root of x squared would be x, so this simplifies to x square root 3. And now we can set up an equation to solve for x by using what we know about the area. The area of the triangle is equal to 177 square centimeters. Well, the area of the triangle is equal to one-half times the base times the height. So for this situation, we're going to have one-half times the base, which has a length of 2x, times the height expressed in terms of x is going to be x square root 3 and this must equal 177 square centimeters. So now we're going to take this equation here and solve for x. The first thing we should notice is that this two and this two simplify out, so it simplifies to the equation x squared times square root three is equal to 177. Let's go ahead and take this onto the next page. We'll go ahead and divide both sides by square root three so we have x squared equals 177 divided by square root 3. And now we'll take the square root of both sides of the equation. And again, we're only concerned about the positive square root or principal square root here. So we'll get a decimal approximation here for x. And then we'll go back and finally answer the question about what's the perimeter of the triangle. So we're going to have the square root of this fraction here, which is 177 divided by the square root of 3. So we have a parenthesis here for the square root of three, another parenthesis here for the outer square root. So x is approximately 10.11. And again, this is centimeters. Now let's go back to the previous screen for a moment. Notice the perimeter of this triangle, well the distance around the outside would be 2x plus 2x plus 2x, or 6x. Again, the length of each side is 2x centimeters. So the perimeter is equal to 6x, which would be approximately equal to 6 times 10.11 centimeters, which is going to be 60.66 centimeters. Okay, I hope this explanation helps.